First, go to Window and make sure the Tracker panel is active by selecting Tracker. Then, set the preview resolution to full for better accuracy. Move the time indicator to a frame where the head movement is minimal. Next, click Stabilize Motion. You will see a square appear on the video preview. This is the area that After Effects will track. Place the smaller inner square on a distinct feature, like the character's nose, and the larger outer square around the face. The small square shows the exact detail it tracks, while the big square sets the area it searches in the next frame. To save time, you can instead place the tracker on an area with minimal movement, such as the corner of the eye. Make sure position is selected in the tracker panel, then click Options. Enable Enhance Before Match. Select Stop Tracking and set the confidence to 90%. Now press play to start tracking. If the tracker loses the target, adjust the tracking point manually and continue until the tracking is complete. To track the other part of the clip, move the time indicator to the untracked frames and repeat the process. When finished, click Apply and choose both X and Y axes to allow horizontal and vertical movement. To remove black bars caused by stabilization, you can scale up your clip until the edges are no longer visible. Alternatively, you can apply the motion tile effect. Increase the output width and height to about 130 and enable mirror edges. For smoother playback, enable frame interpolation by double-clicking on it. This creates new frames between existing ones and makes it look better. If you want to use Twixter for time ramping, turn off this option. Then pre-compose the layer with these settings. Add Twixter to the layer. Check your clip's frame rate in the project panel, then enter that same frame rate in Twixter settings. Set Image Prep to Contrast Enhance. This way you can use Twixter with the face tracking and use them in your velocity edits. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the subscribe button and also ask your questions in the comments. See you in the next video.